All right, guys, we are due for an ecosystem update, which is Drip Network and Animal Farm. Last week on Friday, Forex Shark did an AMA and dropped some pretty good bombs. The information was pretty bullish. He seemed like he was in a pretty positive mood, so that's good. I'd like to do an, a recap of the AMA normally right after it's done, but that was like midday on Friday. And when you put videos out Friday afternoon and evening, they never do well. So anyway, plus I, I didn't have a tremendous amount of time. I had to knock a few other things out. And so here we are today. I'm I'm going to give you an update if you did not hear the ama i'll give you a few bullet points that i thought were most important and i'll just give you a quick update on my position sorry text message coming in good to go we're back okay so uh still at 114 million here on the animal farm uh, animal farm had a couple updates that came across in the ama one of them is the stable pools migration is happening right now so if you've got uh, if you've got money that is in the pools that are stable coins, so that would be like the USD and that's it. And or the farms, which are these top ones here, or right, scratch that down here. So like USDT, BUSD, TUSD, BUSD, you guys get it. If they're stable coins and then they're, they're in a pool or a farm, they had to switch some stuff up on the back end to get it to work with pancake swap. So those changes are in the middle of taking effect. It might be live right now. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely going to soon. So if you're actually trying to put money in there right now and it's not working, that would be why. He talked a little bit more just about the injections and all the stuff like that. I won't get into it because it's it's uh, information that's not really new to most of you guys. He talked some about the games and you know a handful of other things that would affect the animal farm. I thought those updates were fantastic. But my main focus right now is to try to see how Drip is doing. So when he started focusing on Drip, that's when my ears really perked up. We've all been waiting on the new UI and a few other things to come out. That should all happen this month. So the new UI should drop. It's going to have a completely new look and feel, as you guys know. But more importantly, it's going to have a lot more analytics and tools. Right now, if I need to go take a look at something, I'm jumping over to five different websites to try to aggregate the data and then piece it all back together. It would be nice to just be able to go to a tab and look at all the tools. And what would be really nice is that they could ever get uh, like a data tab that you go to that breaks down the analytics that could tell you about your actual wallet. You know, what your total invested capital is based on, uh, you know, when you bought the BNB, how close you are to ROI, all that type of stuff would be really nice. I know a lot of the Dune sites have information that's like that, that, that can kind of tell you based on how much you've put in, uh, how much you've claimed, what your ROI is and some of those details, but that sure would be nice to have here eventually. But I'm super stoked for just an updated look and feel and I do think the price will go a little bit up uh, just based on the UI, just because people are going to see progress is being made. It's starting to look better. One piece at a time, this thing's going to come together and we can recover the price a bit. So I don't think it's going to be, we're not going to jump to $5 or anything, but we could see a 40, 50 cent bump maybe just from people getting excited that it's actually happening. Again, I've said it a lot of times, Forex is pretty much always late, but he always ends up delivering. And when he does, the protocols are solid. I mean, look at the Animal Farm. Animal Farm is running smooth. They've been making a few updates. They got a few things that are still, uh, you know, semi-manual right now, like when they do the injections. But overall, really clean site, and I'm loving it. I think Drip Network will get back to that status again. It just needs a little bit of attention and a little bit of love. And I think that's actually happening now. So in addition to the uh, the look and the feel and the new analytic tools and all that type of stuff, uh, there's also going to be a new airdrop tool. So if any of you guys have uh, team members or you're a team leader or whatever, and you know if you're airdropping to multiple people, it's a super big hassle. You have to go in and confirm every transaction. And it's a little bit easier if you don't have a ledger, but if you have a ledger, you got to punch those numbers every time. It's almost impossible for you to send an airdrop to more than 10 people. So what this will let you do is say, hey, Anybody with say above, you know, 50 drip in their, in their balance, they're going to get this many drip tokens and you can send it down in one click of a button rather than, you know, doing it 50 times. So that's something to look forward to just more efficient and better for the people that are, you know, building teams or sending airdrops. The final thing that I thought was real important that's actually going to go on the UI is of, uh, is of course, the fiat on ramp, which are basically allows you to buy a drip with a credit or debit card. Now he said that he was going to come out this, with this weeks ago, and of course it was delayed, but he was dragging his feet for a good reason. And that's because he wanted to get the right on ramp in there. And he found a solution. I think I'll read off his uh, messages here in a second. He found a solution that makes it so you don't have to KYC for transactions under $2,000 which is amazing. So if you want to onboard some crypto and you want to do a $1,000 transaction, absolutely no KYC. You're just purchasing it like you would off any other website. So I thought that was super cool. Uh, why don't I just read off the messages here that he sent? 
and I can show you guys a quick update on, on where I'm sitting and we can burn some drip and stuff. So let me pull this up. All right, 4X says, let's see if you guys can see this and I'm not blocking it. Okay, good. So 4X says, we're about to kick into overdrive. We have a new marketing firm, three full dev teams, and this year is gonna be amazing. That's just exactly what I wanna hear. Last year was a rocky road. This year can be so much better if we just make some traction. I'm about to go into a meeting with one of the three, one of the top three crypto YouTubers. We're having a lot of success with this new marketing team where we're all turned down. In the past, we're now making progress, which is good. The more real promotion where with it, when it's not botted up accounts or anything, the better. And Forex even did make mention of this on the AMA about how, you know, some of the accounts that we've used to market and everything have kind of been botted up, fake engagement. We need real engagement. It's going to make, so, you know, a much bigger impact, of course. So I thought that was really interesting because he was really transparent about that. And some of us have been critical about that. Like we'll go to the channel and we'll look at it. They got 70,000 views on a video and a bunch of botted up comments. And it just makes us realize that this engagement probably isn't real. So I'm glad that he sees it too. And, and we're working toward moving in a different direction, you know, more, more effective marketing. This is the hardest part about all this has been finding the right people uh, who are motivated so we can scale this and take it to the next level. And it seems like we've done that. So everything's rolling in motion. So great news. Seems like he's got the right team in place. Has to be motivation to succeed. We also need to be aligned with what we're what, what succeeding means to a lot of people in crypto. Succeeding means a big cash grab. And that's very true. These people can be motivated by profit, but they're not a good fit. And here's where he mentions the uh, fiat on ramp. So he said we kept shopping for an on ramp just to ensure we had the best possible option. And we got one on the hook that will not require KYC for purchases under $2,000, which is major. So I thought that was super cool. Nothing super crazy, but it's just progress. So, um, you know, he didn't give a date. Like you said, he's not giving dates until he knows it's all completely done. So he didn't give a date of exactly when the stuff is going to drop. But he did basically say it'll happen before the end of the month. So I'm hoping that's the case so we can close off January with a good push. It'll be a lot easier to market um, drip if the price is going up at all. If you've got a new website and all that type of stuff and you're getting on some big YouTubers and the, and the price is starting to recover. Right now, we've been doing a really good job as a team and as a community keeping the floor price of drip up, right? It was falling there for a while. Now it's been around 70 cents for a couple of weeks. And part of that is because of all the individual promotions and things that have been pushing. We've been pushing stuff the res, we've been pushing burn drip. Other people have had contests for largest buyer and all that. So as a community, we've been doing a really good job supporting the price. I think we just need to hang on a little bit longer and do everything we can to keep the, the price up until some of these development land developments land. And then I think we'll be in a much better spot, frankly. So in light of that, let's do a couple things. One quick update. Uh, 20,405 is where I'm at on deposits. My current balance is roughly what I put in. So hopefully we see a price increase here. I am 30 days from maxing out this wallet. So it's been over a year, been a long road. I got 175 videos or something like that on my channel. So we've been through it, we've been grinding and we're just about to get to a max wallet. So super excited about that. Once I get there, I'll definitely show you guys, hey, here's what I'm doing with the money. Like I've said for a long time, part of that's gonna go to feed new wallets because I think in the end, the drip price will increase in the future. So I wanna be prepared for that. I built up all this drip. I might as well save some of it for when the price increases. And then the rest of it's probably gonna go into pigs. I'm very content right now depositing my money into pigs and just earning those BUSD rewards. I really am not in a position right now where I think I actually probably need to sell drip and then transfer that back to my bank account. I think I'd be better off uh, buying the pigs, having that produce uh, BUSD. And then I can either go out, go to that Spritz crypto off ramp and then send it to my bank account, or I can buy more pigs. I, I just, that's all the flexibility I think I need right now. That may change. Maybe I'll lose a couple clients or something like that. And I won't have, you know, as much discretionary income, but for right now I'm doing just fine in my real life. And so this crypto money is going to stay in crypto and I'm going to try and buy assets and everything that I think are going to go up over the next few years. Right now is a terrible time to look at the charts in the crypto market. It's also the best time to do it. So if you can purchase assets that you think will go up in the future now at a discount, when they go up, your profit margins go up a ton. So that's how it is for me this year. For me, is going to be all about accumulating and that's what I've done so far. So let's do two things. Let's burn some drip and let's send a quick airdrop. All right, we'll come over here, hit 50%. Let's go burn drip. Let me bring up the ledger. Confirm. All right, I sent that off. There's my burn receipt. Another 10. I've just been doing like 10 drip every couple days. 
So I know it's not a ton, but it's at least something. I'm just trying to do my part to help the community. You guys have all helped me out a lot. I like producing content and everything. Just it's the right thing to do for me. Jumping back over to the faucet. Let's uh, airdrop the rest of this just to one random person on the team. And let's see who it's going to. It's going to 5162. So congratulations. Quick airdrop. Okay, we got that sent off. Uh, I'll shoot off here in a second. Let's jump over to the animal farm. Um, right now, I'm up to 120 something pigs. I'm in piggy bank. Let's go back to pig pen. I'm 123.84 pigs. So slowly chipping away. I'm just DCAing, buying a pig here and a pig there, trying to get this up to 150, then up to 200, 300, and so on. At this point, until the price goes crazy, I have absolutely no want or need to sell pigs. I think for $95, what they're trading at now is cheap. I think eventually they're gonna be three, four, 500 bucks. So I'm not planning on selling them anytime soon. If pigs ever mooned and went to a thousand, I might sell a few off just to capture some of those gains. But right now, like I said, I'm completely content just getting the BUSD. I've got a piggy bank that expires um, pretty soon, 37 days. My dog pound, I've got close to 80 dogs. I'm pretty close to 80 dogs, I think. Yep, a couple shy, so I'm just trying to build up these positions. Still have my position in the farms. Planning on holding on to that because those are blue chip cryptos that I think are going to go up a lot over time. And then Drip Garden, I'm uh, up to almost 120 million plants. So if I were to compound this right now, I'd be up over 120 million. In fact, let's do it. All right, there it is, up over 120 million plants. So that's the update. Those are the main key takeaways that I got from the AMA. There was certainly more that he talked about. He talked about games and a lot of stuff coming in the future, but that's all future state. I'm really just thinking through the end of the month. Um, I just, he's got to launch this new UI this month in January. If Even if it's the 31st, midnight on 31st, I just want to see it this month so we can say, okay, we got that done in January and then move on to the next step. So I'm excited about the future. I hope we can keep, uh, keep supporting the drip price. If you guys are able to go burn some drip, really it's sending it to the tax vault. Let's stabilize the price a little bit while we wait for some of this additional utility to come. So thanks for tuning in guys. There's gonna be a lot more updates to happen this year. I'm feeling really good about the progress of where this ecosystem's going. And even though this whole year is probably gonna be a bear market in crypto, I think this is gonna be a shining star. So let me know what you guys think. Happy investing.